Hey, what's up everybody? So this is Vince with Helix and Green Joe Coffee and so I'm answering some emails finally and so um, this one is for Ahmed. Um, Ahmed wants to know, so basically what he's trying to do is put his business plan together, calculate the expected revenue, how much money to raise um, to buy the truck. So I mean if you want to know how much the truck cost, that's in the ebook. Just just buy the ebook. I have a whole chapter on uh, how much I spent, what I shouldn't have spent it on, mistakes that I made, um, all that. It's Everything's broken down to the exact penny on how much that truck costs. So if that's the information you're looking for, uh, I'm going to send you the ebook. It's on the website, greenjoecoffeetruck.com, um, and you can buy the ebook there, and it has all that information. So the next question is calculated. Um, what you're trying to do is calculate how much money you're going to make. So I, you know, so he asked the question, I countered. Are you going to do this full time or are you going to do this part time? If you're going to do it full time, it's going to be different. You got to, you know, there's a, you're going to make more money if you're working more. So um, he countered that he's going to be doing it weekends and special events. Cool. So weekends, a lot of variables to that. Can't answer your question there because I don't know where you're setting up. I don't know the population you're going to be in front of. It's hard for me to give you an answer on that, right? Um, special events, that I can help you with. So special events. They will have, you know, if it's not their first year, then they're going to have numbers as far as ticket sales. And they're going to be able to tell you the total population. Coffee sales will equate to 3 to 10% of that total population. For this example, I'm going to use 1,000 people, right? So let's say we're doing like a 5K. And in this 5K, you got 1,000 people, and that's your total population that you're going to be in front of. Well, um, you're going to see anywhere from... 30 sales up to 100 sales, depending on the environment, the situation, I'll, I'll get into that, the variables. Um, and then depending on your menu, that's how much money you'll make. So if, let's say all the variables line up and you get 10% of that population, awesome, uh, at uh, you know 1,000 people, that's gonna equate to uh, 100 people, that 100 ticket sales that you made. If you're just selling coffee only at $2.50 a piece, you've made 250 bucks. Cool. Now, if your menu is a little bit more exciting, you might have lattes. Now you're up to $5 a ticket sale. And so on 100 people, you've made 500 bucks. Cool. Uh, or maybe you got muffins as well. So those are two bucks a piece plus a latte. Now you're up to $7, 700 bucks. Cool. Great. So it just depends on your menu, okay? Um, the equipment that you have that you can, you know, manufacture these different drinks, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So how to get to 10%. So what I found is events that, okay, so here are the variables that, 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 that will get you closer to 10%. Early mornings, right? Early start times, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 6 a.m., right? None of this 10 a.m. stuff. If it's 10 a.m., you're going to find that everyone shows up with Starbucks in their hand. They've had plenty of time to get to Starbucks that morning. Your sales drop. Cool. Second thing, um, hard start times. Like uh, the race begins at 8 a.m. Not like these, like the market opens at 8 and people can wander in when they want. Like soft start times are not good for trucks because what happens is people have time in the morning to make their own coffee. Uh, people have time in the morning to stop at Starbucks. So when they get to your special event, they already have a cup in their hand, right? You need a hard start time. The race starts at 8 a.m. Cool. Um, competition, is anyone else distributing coffee? Not is anyone else selling coffee? Not is any other coffee truck there? Is anyone else distributing coffee? Because what I've found is I've gone to these events and they're, yeah, and I've asked, hey, is there another coffee truck? And they're like, no, there's no other coffee truck. And I get there, and some guys in the, you know, with a Keurig just pumping out drinks, right? Ticket sales drop. Or like, I'll get there and I'll be like, hey, is there another coffee truck? And they're like, no. And then I get there, and someone's handing out free coffee. Ticket sales drop, right? So are there any other distributors for coffee? Family events. That means you're going to have more than one person per ticket sale. You got an 8 a.m. start time. You got a hard start time, like a little fun 5K race. Um, you got multiple people on that race. What's going to happen is you have multiple people on your ticket sale. So instead of that ticket sale being $5 latte, now it's $5 latte plus two hot chocolates and a muffin. You got yourself up to a $10, $12 ticket sale. That's all going to equate to more financing so or to more money. 
So these are the things that you need to factor in to this event. And then you look at how many events can I do over the course of a year, three months, six months, whatever you're gonna do. And you reach out to these event coordinators and you find out do they have coffee already there. It's legwork and it sucks to do that legwork and I do it every year. And then I reach out to these people and I find out do you need a sponsorship? And that's how I get the gig. I say, look, I will give you X amount of money to do your event. And what they do is we'll, we'll figure this out. It takes a little wheeling and dealing here, but they'll tell me, okay, well, um, you know, we have 4,000 people at this event. We don't have any sponsorship right now for coffee vendors. I say, great. I want, you know, name on the t-shirt, um, you know, handouts in the, in the gift bags, prime location, no other coffee vendors, exclusivity on coffee vending. And, and then I nail in these things and then I can calculate, you know, how much money I'm going to make. And I say, okay, well, I can give you this much money for that sponsorship. And that's how I do my special events. And it works out pretty good. Um, and basically in the beginning of the year, I set the entire calendar. And then when the events come, I do the event and I calculate, you know, at the end, did I make the sales that I projected? Anyhow, I'm going to wrap this up. We're six minutes into this video. It took forever. Sorry, guys. Lots of information on that one. But that's how you can calculate your expected revenue for special events on your coffee truck. My name is Vincent. I own Helix Coffee, Green Joe Coffee Truck. I have an ebook online, uh, www.greenjoecoffeetruck.com, where I teach people how to do these, these uh, coffee trucking. Hope this helps. You guys have an awesome day. Take care.